Howdy, how's it going? My name's Davy Chappie, and today it's time to take a trip into a completely different game, because we're gonna be talking about the August 2018 Unearthed Arcana, which goes over four of the races that'll presumably be presented in the upcoming Ravnica Splatbook for D&D. As always, keep in mind that most of this is just my opinion, so if you think that my opinion deck isn't rampy enough, then feel free to tap the comment section for as much red mana as you want. But with that out of the way, let's begin. So for those of you who don't know, Ravnica is a setting in the incredibly unpopular and totally obscure collectible trading card game Magic the Gathering. It consists of one big planet-sized city that is constantly being fought over by ten colorful and unique guilds in the biggest guild war since, well, guild wars. And like any good setting, Ravnica is filled with all manner of weird and interesting races, so let's get right to them, starting with the Loxodon. Oh hey, it's a furry. Or, more specifically, a giant elephant man thing man. Loxodons are fiercely loyal and value family over most things, and are naturally very tanky. They have a plus two to con and a plus one to wisdom, advantage against being frightened, the always popular powerful build trait because wizards is scared of large things, a natural armor of thirteen plus dex, proficiency with mason's tools, a deep understanding of stone cutting just like dwarves, and advantage on smelling things. So I'm not gonna lie, that is a lot. Even if we take out the stone cutting and the tool proficiency since they're like the least likely things to be useful, you still end up with a whole lot to work with, which is pretty crazy. I feel like of the smelling, advantage against being frightened, and lifting things up, one of them could be taken out and the Loxodon would still be really good, but that's just me. Moving on, we've got the Simic Hybrid. Oh hey, it's a... Uh... Furry. Apparently, some spooky boys decide to play god and start fusing life forms together, so a Simic hybrid is that of a half human elf or Veldikin, which we'll get to later, and half animal thing. They get a com bonus of plus two and a plus one in one other ability score of their choice, as well as dark vision, and then they get to choose some form of mobile animal enhancement, from gliding from one place to another, to getting a climbing speed, to being able to breathe and swim underwater. Then, at level five, they can either take another movement enhancement, or they can either gain grappling hands, thick skin that gives a plus one to non heavy AC, or glands that allow you to spit acid. See, this race makes me have happy because it allows for a greater customization of your race outside of just picking a predetermined subrace. Mixing and matching features is super fun and can lead to some really cool ideas, and I'm glad that Wizards is doing more of it. Next we have the Veldikin. Oh hey, it's... It's something. Veldikin are blue hairless perfectionist people that strive to fix everything that they can get their blue hairless hands on. Naturally, they get an intelligence bonus of two, as well as a wisdom bonus of one, advantage on all mental saving throws, proficiency in a tool, as well as either arcana, history, investigation, medicine, performance, or sleight of hand, and when they make a roll with their chosen skill or tool, they add a d4 to the roll. This race is a bit touchy. Succeeding in a role in D&D is huge, so having advantage on three of the six saving throws is one of the most actively useful abilities that I've seen in the game ever. And it doesn't turn off. Granted, that's the only really useful feature they get, since the D4 to 1 skill isn't super useful except for sleight of hand, so I guess it balances itself out by not having much else going for it. Still, since the ability score bonuses imply that this race is meant to be a wizard, these guys are gonna treat a lot of spells like they're absolute jokes. And finally, we have the Viashino. Okay guys, we need to have a talk. Does MTG have a secret fetish that I don't know about. The Vyashino are scalies, and they enjoy fire just as much as they enjoy fighting. They get a plus two to dex as well as a plus one to strength, a bite of 1d4 plus strength, proficiency in either acrobatics or stealth, and the ability to react to anybody that does damage to them by hitting them with their tail, which also does 1d4 strength. I don't really get what the point of having two natural weapons is, but I do like the reaction ability because it gives a legitimate reason to use your natural weapon in the first place, since honestly, natural weapons are just completely useless when compared to, like, any other weapon. So having a practical application of your natural weapon built directly into the character is a refreshing take on an otherwise mediocre ability. But that'll about do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment if you did, subscribe if you want to be a cool dude, and maybe support me on Patreon so that I can slowly make my entire life revolve around D&D. Also, if you want to stay up to date on all of your Davy news, I keep a link to my Discord and Twitter in the description below. But yeah, Davy out.